I hope that you consider adding Vampire Facelift and Vampire Facial to your service offering, also Vampire Breast Lift. Uh, for those of you doing facial aesthetics, Play the Rich Plasma is like the fourth dimension. You know, we have good skin care, the first dimension. Botox, the second dimension, will relax muscles that cause these, um, these rytids. And then, of course, the fillers, which create the shape. We all love these procedures. When you add Play the Rich Plasma, what you see is a glow. You get a beautiful, youthful glow. You can actually change the texture of the skin. It's a regenerative therapy, and that makes sense to patients. I use Play the Rich Plasma with all of the procedures that I do for facial aesthetics, whether it's laser, post-laser. Uh, PRP is awesome at improving the outcome, um, decreasing the healing time. So, you know, it, it uh, really complements everything that we do. But with Vampire Face Lift, you're creating the shape with the filler, and then you're regenerating collagen, you're improving blood flow, you're changing the texture of the skin. It's really quite remarkable. You can generate some volume um, if you use the right concentration of PRP, which really is four to six times baseline. We can, we can stimulate some regeneration of the fat, uh, the fat pads, which are very necessary pillars for facial aesthetics. We need to create a migration, maximum migration really, of stem cells to the area. And so you do that with the right platelet-rich plasma. With the right techniques, we can address fine lines, and uh, just, again, make everything that we do better. For those of you who are not doing facial aesthetics at this particular time, we can teach you how to apply the filler and the PRP strategically so that you can really make a change in um, the way somebody feels about themselves when they look in the mirror. And we can teach you how to apply this quite simply. So it's a little bit of a recipe, if you will, which will be effective for most of your patients. Um, as you get better and better, you will become an aesthetic artist and you'll be able to um, take it from there, if you will. The breast lift is really a great procedure for the right patient. We can create, again, stimulate the adipose tissue to regenerate with the right type of, of platelet concentration and the right amount of platelets. We can cause the um, regeneration of the skin, of the decollete. We can resensitize the nipple. That's a big, big deal. So many women post-augmentation will have a lack or a complete loss of sensitivity with the nipple. You can very easily restore that sensitivity. Now, that's a big deal. You can very easily restore that sensitivity and, and you can change a woman's sexual response by, by doing that, changing the way she feels about herself. Um, for women who have gone through reconstructive surgery post-breast cancer, for instance, often there's a change in sensitivity and the breasts sometimes don't even feel like their own. And you can inject play the rich plasma um, to regenerate and, and really restore the normal sensitivity. And I've had women report that it was an amazing difference to their quality of life. It was something that had always bothered them. We can create uh, more shape in the cleavage area. Uh, the, the nipple can be regenerated as well, as I mentioned, in addition to the improvement or even complete resolution of, um, of sensitivity problems. The skin will pinken on the areola. Um, so lots of reasons to do these procedures. The vampire facial is a combination with the microneedling tool. Um, I use a, a very, very nice microneedling tool so we get a precision depth. We can do scar revisions um, with PRP and this microneedling tool. Uh, so very, very powerful at stimulating collagen stimulating a regeneration, so you change the texture of the skin, you change the color of the skin. Most of my patients come back and report that people are commenting about their skin completely unsolicited. We'll stop them and tell them how beautiful their skin is and how they get that glow, they have a glow. They're asking them, you know, oh, did you take a vacation? What, what have you done? Um, your skin looks great. And that's a very common post procedure, about two weeks or so post-procedure, we really start to see some of these changes. Um, so great procedures. The vampire facial microneedling with PRP doesn't necessarily need to be done by a physician, a PA, or a nurse practitioner. In many states, uh, you can have a medical esthetician or even an MA um, do the procedure. So lots of reasons to add these procedures to your service offering. Your patients are looking for them. Uh, they're coming to my practice for them.
and um, they would much rather be treated by you who they know and trust.